We're talking probably one of the worst kisses that has ever existed. Pushed our mouths together, stuck our tongues out, and then just rested them there. My name is Nick Kocher. This is a story about falling into like with a girl. Not love, lower stakes. Lower your expectations. I'm good at intros. The year was whatever year it was then. I was 15 years old. Let me paint you the picture of me. I look like a poorly drawn cartoon character. I look like a young British librarian. My mom wanted me to go to this camp where kids who'd gotten like some decent score on your PSATs. You take classes at this camp. That sounds like a nerd camp. My mom was like, it's not a nerd camp. It's for smart kids. So later, I get to nerd camp. It comes time to sign up for classes. The one that I chose was called Cyborg Futures. Awesome, cyborg and the future. Robots, laser beams. We're gonna learn how to build a hovercraft, a hovering robot, hover things. And these hoverboards we have now, what a lie. They are wheels, sideways skateboards that are electric. Welcome to my TED talk on why hoverboards suck. I'm excited uh, uh, for this class called Cyborg Futures. It turns out to be a class on esoteric medical ethics. I'm in the ninth grade. I don't need to know any of this stuff. Someone at some point teach me how to do my taxes. It was so boring. There was like one kid there because he was like, yes, esoteric medical ethics for me. And we hated that kid. The good news is the class is filled with other kids like me, slacker nerds. The other good news about this class is that there's a girl named Margot. She is lovely. We get along and I don't remember why. Probably because she was pretty and that was enough. We start flirting. What? ever nightmare of a way I flirted. I wait quietly in a corner for the girl I like to come talk to me. If she does, then I date her for eight years. And if she doesn't, then I never see her again. That's pretty much how my game works. Then and now. At some point during this class, we start playing the like, are you nervous game. I don't know if you've ever played this freaking mental test of a game. A guy and a girl, they'll like put their hands on each other's knees and be like, are you nervous? They'll slowly move their hand up the thigh. In 2019, not okay. You lose if you get nervous and push the person's hand away. I lost immediately. I, no, <laughs> what a stupid game, let's not play that anymore. I would push her hand away, but then our hands would be together, have our hands kind of interlocked like that, and then we would like leave them there. Instantly, my heart would start pounding really, really hard. My hand is pouring with sweat. She might as well have been holding my hand underwater. Probably got an erection. I don't know if she likes me, because we're holding hands, but we don't, we're not like fully clasping holding hands like this. I'm very good at having low self-esteem. Fast forward, it's like the last two days of camp, and in class we were watching The Andromeda Strain, a movie that is, I don't remember anything about. Margo and I are sitting next to each other on a couch. My heart's going crazy. She leans into me and she rests her head on my chest. Because I know esoteric medical ethics, I know that inside my chest is my heart. She's putting her head right here, leaning it up good against it, putting her ear right on my heart, which is pounding like crazy. She like turns back and looks at me. Your heart is kind of beating like crazy. And I decide that the best thing to do, yeah, I have a heart condition. Yep, I have a heart condition. I don't want to let this girl know that I like her. No, I'd rather her think that I'm about to die. If she asked me any follow-up question, I would not have been able to answer it. But she believes me. She immediately leaned in and kissed me because she thought she had two minutes to do that before I would die. We're talking probably one of the worst kisses that has ever existed. In my head, it was fantastic. Fireworks going off. In reality, what was probably happening, pushed our mouths together, stuck our tongues out, and then just rested them there. Just, just two tongues, slide our tongues onto each other and hold them there still. By the way, we're like making out in a crowded classroom. Welcome to nerd camp, baby. Parents, if you don't want your kids to make out with each other, don't send them to nerd camp. Send them to cool kid camp, which doesn't exist and I certainly wouldn't get in because I call it cool kid camp. Is there a cool kid camp? <laughs> What, that sounds like a trap. Cool kid camp. Yep, right this way, under this box with that's propped up by a single stick. I never tell her 
that I don't have a heart condition. She's walking around right now out there in the world. The first guy I kissed is probably dead now. <laughs> uh, and let's keep it that way.